Hello, I'm Alan. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build a serial console server with a Raspberry Pi. You will need any Raspberry Pi model, a board with a serial connection, a network switch, a serial to USB cable, and another computer with Telnet and PuTTY installed. With the required materials, Let's get started. Before I get started, I connect my Raspberry Pi and my computer to the internet through the connection of Ethernet cables and a network switch. I can use my computer to turn it into my Raspberry Pi even if my computer is far away from my Raspberry Pi. I connect the serial board to the Raspberry Pi through a serial to USB cable. First, I'm going to update my Raspberry Pi by calling sudo at get update. Next, I install Telnet. I call sudo at get install telnet then I install the telnet daemon package after installing telnet I install serial to network by calling sudo at get install ser to net I find the package's file location by calling which followed by the package's name. For example, I call which townnet to get townnet's file location. The file location is user bin townnet. I call which sir2net to get sir2net's file location, which is user sbin server to network. I call dmessage pipe grep tty to locate the serial to USB port. For me, it appears as dev tty usb 0, as stated in this line, usb 1 1 1.5, ftdi usb serial device converter now attached to tty usb 0. I edit the serial to network configuration file by calling sudo nano etc scr to net dot conf. At the connections to main array th board, I add the port number and edit the required parameters such as the baud rate. Then I write out to save my work and I exit. I edit the rc local file by calling sudo nano etc rc.local. Above the exit 0, I added the file location of server to network. Then I add dash n. This line will make sure that server to network starts automatically on boot up. I save my changes by calling write out. Then I reboot my Raspberry Pi. After rebooting the Raspberry Pi, I call ifconfig to get the IP address for the Raspberry Pi. For me, my Raspberry Pi's IP address is 10.0.0.2.5.2 as highlighted, as highlighted. On a different computer with PuTTY, I execute the Telnet program using Raspberry Pi's IP address here and the port number that corresponds to the serial to USB port on the Raspberry Pi, which is here. Then I press open. A screen shows up. I, I press enter to check if there is any response from the serial connection. 
There you have it, a Raspberry Pi serial console server. I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.